What's going on, boys and girls? Boys and girls. What's going on, boys and girls? As you can see, I have a one-eyed bandit because one of my HID bulbs is out. So, let's get both of these lights replaced. But I'm not going back with a D4S HID bulb. I want to try out these D4S LED bulbs. Since LEDs has made you know a pretty good jump in technology i want to try these d4s led bulbs and basically it plugs into the ballast the 35 watt factory ballast and then it turns on the hid bulb so you do have the hid bulb that runs off the hid ballast and then you have the regular 12 volt bulb that you can plug right into a standard car that has like a halogen bulb so i'm gonna get the wheel turned take the independent liner off uh and we're gonna get to swapping so first things first i'm going to pop these fender liner clips out once you have the fender liner push pins out you pull the liner back and then that silver thing is the hid ballast you turn that pull it off and the bulb is right under it after the ballast plug is off then you have the bulb in there and has two little butterfly clips at the top squeeze those together Pull it down and then pull the bulb out. Clips are undone. You pull the bulb out. And typically in the HID bulb, in that little circle, if it's black, that means it is blown. What I want to do now is verify that this bulb works. So let's give this a try and let's verify that it works. All right, so it does work. Yeah, so this eight, so this um, LED bulb is probably a good half an inch uh, deeper on the back. So it may work, it may not. So let's figure it out. All right, so I moved to the street and took the wheel off because I was having problems getting all the way in here because the bulb, so the bulb here has all this on the back. So the spring that locks it in won't go over the back once the bulb is in there. So I'm gonna have to like finagle it to get it to go in there. And I just didn't have the room to do it. So this clip here has to go up around the bulb to lock it in. So I'm gonna mess with that. It is getting dark, it's 7.14, it's already sunset. So I'm gonna try to at least get this one bulb in. And then maybe I do the other one tomorrow. And in two minutes, I got it in there. I got it clipped. I got it secured. So now I'm just going to hook up uh, the end of the bulb into the ballast. Get it all tucked in there. Make sure that the ballast fits, which it should because it's just hollow on the inside for the most part. Cut it on. Make sure that my AFS does all this stuff. And then put the wheel back on and we should be done. Surprisingly, everything fit in there and the hid ballast which is also the back cover for the headlight uh it's on there so hopefully i got all the wires where it won't affect the movement of the headlight when it does its afs thing so let's see if we get a afs error when we start the car up and it calibrates all right and no afs error so let's see how they look moving freely to calibrate because it calibrates every time you turn it on and you can't tell on camera but of course this is the led bulb this is the hid bulb it's my lens dirty i see mad glare oh that's better so of course on camera it's so blown out you can't tell the difference but i don't really see a difference between the the led bulb and the hid bulb so that may be a good thing so I may do the patches aside bulb tonight. I may not. These lights come in clutch. Got a magnet on it. Makes it a whole lot easier to work at night. I will leave the link in the description below for those lights. I think I paid like $13 for two of them. And that was like probably two, three years ago. And it's still going strong. Rechargeable, everything on the money. So I'll be back 
once I get this side installed. All right, let's see. That was three minutes and 20 seconds to getting the HID bulb out. And it, like I said, the last bulb was black. You see there that it is clear. So if you ever see a black, H you see a HID bulb with that circle is black, that means it's blown. If it's not black, that means that it's good, typically. And just like that, the ballast is on. Let me turn on the headlights. Make sure that the bulb works. Bulb works. Everything looks pretty good. So now let's get everything back in. Done and dusted. All right, and there it is. LED headlights are in. So I have LED headlights and Morimoto LED fall light units, and they are in. Uh, they look just the same, if not a tad brighter than the HIDs. Now, mind you, they were three-year-old HIDs. HIDs they do degrade over time. But yeah, these look good. They look good. Uh, I'll probably do a follow-up in a couple of months about how they're working. But they do look good. And for now, I'm happy. Uh, so I will put a link to the HID headlights that I use below. I will put a link probably for the D4S, uh, the D2S, and whatever. So I will have various models of HID LED bulbs of this name brand if I can find this particular name brand. In there and i'll follow up i don't know in six months or so or if one messes up before then so coming up on the channel it's probably gonna be a bunch of follow-up videos like the brake caliper paint you know so on and so forth so stay tuned but yeah if you enjoyed this video give me a like if you made it to the end give me a follow if you enjoy my content let me know if you don't enjoy it let me know uh, let me know what you want to see maybe i've already recorded maybe i can make a video for you so yeah until next time Think, build, enjoy. Peace.